We have another Kahneman T done deal as Swedish giants Malmo FF have finalized their deal to sign Kahneman T defender in Derek Cornelius. And this is a brilliant deal which sees the Canadian defender join the Swedish side on a multi-year deal that will run through the 2026 season and it is looking like a transfer fee that will be around $500,000 heading towards the Vancouver Whitecaps. But this is an amazing transfer for the 25 year old Canadian left footed center back in Derek Cornelius who has spent the last two seasons with Panatolikos in the Greeks Super League and this is just an unbelievable transfer as he finds himself joining a rich and deep rooted footballing club with unbelievable history and a side that continuously fights to win trophies every single season whether they're in first or second place Malmo FF is an unbelievable side and for me this is going to be looked at as one of the most underrated transfers within the Canadian footballing fan base because for me this is the most exciting excited I am for a transfer so far. Yes, that might be a bit surprising, of course, with Alistair Johnston moving to Celtic from CF Montreal, as well as Ismail Kone on his way to Watford. And we've also seen others like Dominic Zator heading to the Corona Kelche, and even more moves from the Canadian footballing landscape. But for me, this transfer is absolutely immaculate. This is such an exciting move for the Canadian men's national team. You're getting a young 25-year-old center back. Yes, some might not say young. But when you're looking at the number six position, the center back position and the goalkeeping position, these are positions that can go deep into their 30s. And Derek Cornelius is still only 25. And if you look at Sweden's side in Malmo FF, they're a side that is continuously in European football. They're well known for being in European football. Whether that's the Champions League or the Europa League, now they could also be in the conference as well. Yes, they are missing out this season due to finishing in 7th place last year as they had a terrible season as their manager did fall out and they do have a new replacement which is very interesting as their new manager did have some words to say around Derek Cornelius, which I am going to read out, which I find very interesting because... It is, of course, a very interesting time to see what Derek Cornelius is going to do because they do have a new manager in uh, Jorgensen, and he did come out saying this. Derek is a very skillful and athletic center back who fits very well into our style of play and requ requirements of profile. In addition, he has a winning personality that we believe will be appreciated by both the community supporters when he gets going in January. And I completely agree with him. You just got to look at Derek Cornelius playing for the Kahneman T when he gets his chance. He's always thriving to win. But the community within Malmo FF, they're a side that strives to win every single football game. Like I said, whether they're first or second, last year was a blip of the year due to their manager. This side is constantly winning titles, whether it's the Swedish Cup, whether it's the Swedish League. Malmo FF is a giant footballing club. And yes, that might be surprising to hear for some. I know this this move is very underrated because everyone is thinking the MLS is such a more important thing than the Swedish League. But you got to look at the side. Malmo FF is such a huge team. Whether that's European-based, Swedish-based, they're well-known. For me, they're definitely well-known. And this is a huge move for Derek Cornelius to show himself within European football and even to prove himself in Scandinavian League. You look at the Swedish League, the Norwegian League, they're always unbelievable at producing talent and getting players to make that stepping stone. Malmo FF could be a huge stepping stone for Derek Cornelius. Say he has one or two unbelievable breakout seasons of Malmo FF in the starting lineup, he could earn himself a huge transfer. He'd only be 27, and that is still extremely young for a center back, like I said. But... This is a great move. The manager really wants him. He's talking highly about him. There's been a Malmo FF, a diehard Malmo FF fan in my comment section talking how he is excited for this move as well. He's looking forward to seeing Derek Cornelius and how he expects him to be fighting for either that one, two, or three center back role, which is exciting to hear from a diehard Malmo FF fan. And for me, this is an unbelievable move. It's very underrated. And I, I completely... I'm very excited to see him in January for Malmo FF. But guys, this is such a brilliant move. If you look at what Derek Cornelius brings, he's had a 7-match rating across his 13 appearances for Panantolikos this season. Of course, last year going 29 for 28 matches, uh, starting 28 of those 29 last season, going 2,400 minutes for Panantolikos in the Greece League last year, th 20, or last year, th 23. This year, starting 13 and playing all 13 for Panantolikos, Derek Cornelius has been fantastic, and I think he could very much power himself into the Kahneman T starting lineup. I think he is way too underrated. A very fast, skillful, skillful, very good in the air as well. 
Very pacey, good on the ball. Derek Cornelius has it all, and I'm very excited to see what he can do with Malmo FF in a winning mentality league. And guys, make sure to drop down below, hit that sub button, drop a like, and a comment on what you guys think of this done deal for Derek Cornelius. And stay tuned, hit that sub button, drop notifications, because we're going to have another video around Derek Cornelius as well, talking about how this is the most underrated transfer within the Canadian football and fan, fan base and Canadian landscape because this is a crazy underrated transfer. This should be talked about on One Soccer, TSN. For me, this is such an exciting move. I know it's not going to get the hype of a lot for the Celtic, but Malmo FF is being so underrated here for Derek Cornelius. Yes, the Swedish league is definitely not up to the standard of the MLS, but if you look at what Malmo FF demands every year from their players, the trophies they win, being able to bring silverware and a winning mentality to keep coming into the Canada tea, it all adds up, and this is the best move for Derek Cornelius. This is such a better move than joining Vancouver Whitecaps back in the MLS. Let me know what you guys think down below about Derek Cornelius joining Malmo FF, as we will also have another video breaking down how underrated this transfer is, and it will be definitely a longer-term video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hit that sub button, drop a like, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace!